Hang on, I gotta set the ambience. Gotta make, wait, this is the candle I don't like. I don't want it to smell like cookies in here if there's no cookies. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and we have two very important tasks to accomplish in this Vlogmas episode. The first is doing my crusty ass nails. That's a must. The second is we need to buy pretty much all of our Christmas presents tonight. I will be doing pretty much all of my shopping online and I wanna make sure that everything gets here in time. So we're gonna kind of do it in bulk and hope that my credit card doesn't get canceled. But I figured I'd bring you guys a long chit chat with you while I'm doing my nails and give you some updates on how Vlogmas is going. So if you like videos like this of hanging out with me, checking out some fun Vlogmas activities, then make sure to like and subscribe so you can hang out with us for future episodes. 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 Let's just get started. All right, so I'm currently soaking my nails because that's step number one when you do nails, apparently. I was going to do this video with my cousin Jillian. She is a nail tech wizard and she was gonna do some fun festive nails for me, but unfortunately our schedules just didn't line up. But I'm gonna do it myself because she and her mom actually recommended me a more DIY company. So this company is called Lovely Hello. They're basically stick on nail designs and my cousin could not recommend them enough. It came in cute packaging. She hand wrote on the packaging, JC, thank you, which is always, when you shop small, that's always like, you're making somebody's day, but they're making yours because they make it so personalized. I ordered five sets because if you order five, you get free shipping, but two of them were Christmas designs. So I'm not sure which ones I should go with. I have some cute little green polar bears here and some red and green plaid designs. I had to get green. You guys know I love green. What is going on with this hair? What are you doing, sir? So I think I'm gonna go with the plaid. The directions say clean nails with alcohol or hand sanitizer to remove any oils or lotion. Select, select nail wrap, geez Louise. Select nail wrap based on width of nail. So first we're gonna remove this from its backing. So this part's sticky. Then we're gonna put it on our nail. Remove the clear top coat. So there's like three stickers to it basically. You're just gonna like kind of fold it over it comes with a little nail file, so you're just gonna file off the remaining design. So it kind of like cuts it off basically. And then you're gonna take the little stick that they give you and just press on all of the side and voila. So you have a super cute design, no painting required. And my aunt and cousin say that this lasts them like up to a week or longer without any peeling or it coming off at all. So check out Lovely Hello. I really like these, I think they're very easy for me. I don't paint my nails that often, but if I have a cute design, it will definitely make me more inclined to have cute nails. And this is not sponsored or anything. I just really like supporting small businesses this holiday season. So check them out. I'll link them below. So how's Vlogmas, you ask? Vlogmas has been interesting. Um, if you didn't see my Vlogmas announcement video, you don't need to go watch it now because you're already watching Vlogmas. But I kind of explain in there that it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I knew it wouldn't be logistically possible for me to actually vlog and edit every single day. So I've really tried actually planning my videos, making a lot more produced content, but because of that, I realized I put myself probably under a lot more stress than if I did just a regular Vlogmas. Um, you know, I really focused on making really cool content, making it funny and keeping it consistent with my brand. So because of that, I would describe Vlogmas as pretty stressful, but I would also say, and this is something I keep telling my mom, it's stress that nobody asked me to be put under. You know, nobody was saying like, JC, like, where's Vlogmas? You need to do Vlogmas to keep up with your subscribers. That's not the case at all. I feel like even if I missed a couple uploads, you guys would still hopefully love me and support me. But I'm a very organized person. I have always gotten straight A's. I always had to get the best score on the test. So finishing Vlogmas in its entirety is really important to me. So I'm just trying to keep my head above water, make sure that all of my friends know that I still love them even though I can't hang out and I suck at returning texts. Because I think at the end of this, It'll be very rewarding, you know? I'm enjoying doing things that are holiday related. Like I wouldn't be doing my nails 
on a regular Tuesday night any other week during Christmas time, but here I am because it's fun to hang out with you guys. Oh my cats, I just realized I just soaked my nails for nothing. Like I didn't even push my cuticles back. This is why I need to go get them done because I don't know what I'm actually doing. Almost done. It is kind of taking me a while, but that's because I'm trying to be a perfectionist. But these look really nice. Like they look good for not being painted. I really like these. <laughs> I feel girly and festive. Another funny thing that happened kind of recently was I had a TikTok go, not go viral, but it did really well. It got like a couple hundred thousand views or whatever. But I just thought it was so funny how it was actually a blooper from a video you guys may have seen. It was that video where I was um, showing you how I take photos and videos of myself and I went to Descanso Gardens. So during that video, I went, I took a tripod out and I was just trying to take a bunch of videos of myself. And a couple times people stopped and asked me what I was doing. And I actually caught one of them on camera, just a cute little interaction where somebody was like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, like, that's really cool, I love your hair. And that was pretty much it. I make this face at the end where I was like a little bit embarrassed because you know, when you take a tripod out into the world and then somebody kind of like brings attention to you when you're just trying to like get your photo and move on, it's a little embarrassing. So at the end of the video, I just kind of like make this face and people on my TikTok are just like, oh, I get it. So you hate like real life polite interactions, but you'll use it for clout on the internet, got it. Or a lot of people will be like, why the hell did you make that face at the end? She was being so nice, gosh, you're so rude. And it's just one of those things where it's like, man, social media is funny. Like to me, because I work in marketing, I see any interaction as a good interaction. Like the people that are commenting those things, it's like, my dude, you just gave me an interaction and a piece of engagement. So the algorithm's just gonna recommend me more. Like I win. But it's just one of those things where it's like, my goodness, if you don't have anything nice to say when I was just trying to share a cute video, don't say anything at all, you know? You know, where's your, where's your Christmas spirit, Jeremy? You know? Spread love, not hate. Jafiel? Jafiel. But the rest of the comments were all super nice people being like, wow, this really made my day, which was my intention sort of thing. So that made me happy at least. And you know, the hate comments don't bother me at all because again, I see it as, you know, you're only pushing my video out more. So if you wanna go talk crap on my TikTok, go follow me and comment something mean and I will respond nicely with the heart face because that's the kind of energy I want to see in the world. But speaking of making somebody's day, a few of you guys have reached out to me on Instagram. I even had one of you like post to their story that I was your new favorite YouTuber and that I just bring happiness into your life and just know that you guys bring happiness into my life. So I appreciate everyone who has reached out to everyone who has been in, jog in jogging my vlog. <laughs> enjoying my vlogmas because it's been a really fun time and I just appreciate every single one of you guys, okay? Every single one. All right, nails are done. I really liked how they turned out. So definitely check out Lovely Hello. Welcome to my workstation where I have been for the past like month <laughs> working and doing vlogmas stuff like there's me. Okay, so we need to buy Christmas presents. So I have my Excel sheet here. This is actually my Excel sheet of all of Vlogmas. Can you guys see this? So if you wanna pause and zoom in of what's to come, I, that'd be weird, but more power to you. This is my schedule of all of the videos I'll be posting on what day I need to post, what I need to edit, and what I need to film on those days. But then down here, I have my Christmas list. So it's not that extensive. I only really need to buy for my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, and then their partners. So I really wanted to shop small where I could and not just give all of my money to Jeff Bezos. So I was thinking for my dad to get him some type of either Dodger shirt or Lakers shirt because both of them just won their championships and we're in LA. So we got to get him something there. So I'm deciding between two items. I found this cool little crew neck sweatshirt that shows both of Kobe's numbers. I decided to go with the Kobe theme because this was the year that he passed away. We were a huge Kobe family. We were raised on the Mamba mentality and it was absolutely devastating when he died. Truly, my family was absolutely grieving. So I think we're gonna go with a Kobe theme this year. So I really like this sweatshirt, but I also found a shirt that I think you would like. Like, look at this shirt. It's got a halo over his number eight. And I think my dad is more of a t-shirt person anyway. He actually only wears 
this Ravenclaw sweater. <laughs> Actually, let me tell you the story. So a few years ago, I asked for um, a Ravenclaw Harry Potter sweater. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Oh my gosh, how have I not been wearing this this whole time? It's so on theme with my Christmas. But so I asked for this Ravenclaw Harry Potter sweatshirt and a couple of other things. So it was the first time that we had asked for things from the internet. This was like several years ago. And my mom didn't understand how to order from Amazon. So she actually ended up buying all of my gifts twice <laughs> because she didn't realize that she had made the purchases twice. She just thought it didn't go through. So I remember it was this sweater, like a rain jacket and something else. And so there were two of these sweaters and she was like, well, I don't wanna return it. So here, dad, you take it. So my dad took one and guys, he, he's always in this sweatshirt. I ask him all the time. I say, dad, what's your Hogwarts house? You know what he answers? He says warthogs. He means Hogwarts and does not understand that that's not a house, but that's how little he understands what he's wearing, but he loves it. He loves that sweater and I will never see him not in it for some reason. So because of that, I think I'm gonna go with a shirt. Add to cart. Look away while I do my payment details. I also plan on getting him something else, but there will be another shopping trip for that. For my sister, I have written on here. It says, I don't freaking know. And that's because she hasn't given me any idea. So if she doesn't get back to me soon, we're also gonna find something on Etsy for her. My mom asked for a very specific decorative thermometer and my big brain just searched thermometer as if that was gonna come up. No. So she wants this very specific thermometer and what my mom asks for, she shall receive. And mom, if you're watching this, I got you, I got you the thermometer. That's on you. You saw the title that I was buying my Christmas presents. I'm also getting a couple other things, but I'll leave that is a surprise. So add to cart. My brother wants a very specific gaming mouse, so we will add this to cart. And then just the last person on my list is Jenny, who is Chad's girlfriend. Jenny was in my trying Korean foods. That was a fun video. She's really into skincare. Again, maybe with for her gift, I can shop small, see what I can find on Etsy. Better than Botox? What is that? a triple threat vegan collagen blend. Oh, it's just collagen. That's not better than Botox. Maybe I should try it. Bubble truffle, lots of fun soaps. Oh, a, hor a Horcrux bath bomb. A Horcrux bath bomb? This is, this is why Christmas shopping is dangerous. What a dumb product that I absolutely need. Add to cart. <laughs> Maybe instead of bath products, I could use beauty, henna freckles, tight. Oh my gosh, that'd be a cool video someday if I did like fake freckles and tried them out. Add to cart. <laughs> Sheet masks, that's kind of basic. More scrubs. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just text my brother, see what kind of ideas he may have, or maybe what he didn't get her that he thought he was gonna get her that maybe I could get her. Then I'll do some research for my sister. Um, she's pretty easy. She just loves candles and that's it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go max out my credit card and hope I don't fall into crippling debt, but I thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll get all of these presents in and then we can wrap them. I bought the most unnecessarily bougie wrapping paper. So I'm really excited to sit down and just wrap them with you guys. So make sure to like and subscribe so you can follow along for future Vlogmas episodes and to hang out with me in my Ravenclaw apartment and my Horcrux bath bomb. Just kidding, you can't see me in that. But I will see you guys next time. Toodles! Okay, I found two things that I'm beside, decide deciding to tween. Beciding to tween? I need to see a neurologist, you guys. This keeps happening.